Hey guys, welcome to Nice Hands Herbal Healing Concepts video. So this is a all not alocasia, it's a colocasia elephant ear mammoth size elephant ear bulbs. Now, like many, I have become obsessed with elephant ears. I do have a few live ones, little dot ones in the house, but I decided to start from bulb and try to do it myself and see what I can do. So watching watching on youtube went to a couple of classes um on youtube university and i saw this one site to where you could buy them in, in bulb form so the cost was 45 dollars, and my tail bought one you know not knowing you know the instructor didn't tell me where i could buy these things for a lower price went to sam's club the next day and saw these two bulbs do you hear me two bulbs for $11.58. Yes, y'all heard me correctly. Eleven fifty eight at Sam's Club. Do you hear me? Bought 12 of them. Six bundles, 12 bulbs. Huge bulbs. I went diving for these large, making sure I got the largest ones. Now, it looks like they put a big one and a little one in the package, I guess, to balance it off. But baby, let me tell you, I couldn't pick up my phone fast enough to cancel that order of that $45 bulb that I bought. I'm not going to say what place it was, but honey, as a matter of fact, I need to check my account and make sure I got my little coins back, uh, my little refund back on that $45, $50. So anyway, here um, is what I learned is the circles are the top because a lot of people say they get confused of what's the top and the bottom. That is the top right there with the little um, sprout coming out of it. And the bottom has the holes where the roots had came out of it. Okay. So that's the top. That's the bottom. And you plant it top side up. So I'm taking the babies out of their bags. I'm trying to keep the bags because I might have to um, put them back. Now they say, uh, I've been seeing a lot of videos where a lot of people were putting them up because for winter time they go dormant and they can't do the frost or whatever. So they put them up. But here around these parts, honey, there is no winter. So I plan on sticking these babies outside, some outdoors and indoors. You know, I have so many choices. So yeah, those things on the side, the little nodules, those are where more stems come out and um, more leaves. And you can break those off for more plants. Um, propagating them anyway so yeah i'm taking them out plan to put them up and i did buy six so i gave my daughter a bundle and then i put one up so these are the eight that i will be planting i looked and found the biggest ones and i am going to plant these baby i'm so excited i hope you guys are excited for me as well we are going to get to some planting around here look at that hey mama's baby Yes, hunter. Yes, those little nodules, the little sprouts come out of that. And the best thing about this plant is that it could be used over and over and over again if you take care of it. You don't uh, overwater it and get it all um, rotten and things of that nature. So that's my little concern right now is me overwatering stuff. I'm a real protective mommy. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hey, baby. So those are the eight that I'm going to plant. And you know what they say, the bigger the bulb, the bigger the plant. So I got those four little ones up there and the four big ones. Um, mammoth elephant ears. That's what they say, child. See right there, they say that huge bulbs produce huge plants. So these are my babies. Huge leaves, you know. Y'all know what I meant. These are my babies. Hey, babies. And this is a shot of them. I'm going to measure them real quick and see. I know they weighed estimately around four to five pounds. Okay. They was rock hard solid. And looking at this, they were about seven, seven and a half inches long. These are the two longest ones. Okay. Now, I don't know what kind of bob size the $45 would have got me but I am happy with these 1198s do you hear me it's like five or six dollars above 1158 let's take that back anywho look at them hey this is the pots that I'm planting them in um these are $20 pots from Lowe's and this is the Kellogg's potting mix now 
Kellogg is brand has been good to me, so I'm gonna keep buying it. I buy the soil, I buy the potty mix, I buy the raised bed mix. And as you can see, one pot, it's a 20 inch pot, will take up takes at least almost all of the bag. I'm gonna say three fourths of the bag, honey, because yeah, they is not playing now. What they did, what I saw on YouTube University during my courses, a lot of people put them in a small pot to do this uh, process to wake them up to do the, the to wake them up me i'm gonna put them in the pot i decided to put them in the pot that they're gonna be in because ain't nobody got time for all that repot and stuff so i was actually waiting on this fertilizer called bulb tone it's by espoma so that's why i hadn't planted them but i finally got it as a matter of fact i need to stop watching youtube videos i swear to god every time i watch these videos i need whatever somebody else have baby and the way my bank account is set up i do not need to be watching videos like that all the time so i'm gonna have to cut back on these videos a little bit because i'll be buying everything y'all be uh telling me to get that y'all have so so you're supposed to cover the top of the bulb up one or two inches now some people were leaving the tip out but honey i'm not a leave a tip out cover that tip up there's the bulb tone and you're supposed to sprinkle a teaspoon over it down where the bulb is going to be so sprinkle a teaspoon yeah sprinkle 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 did that and now you're supposed to mix that up into the soil where you're going to place your bulb place your baby bulb your bulb baby so I'm patting that in like that. And again, you cover the tip up one to two inches over the um, tip. One to two inches of soil over the tip. So yes, cover up your tip, child. Because you don't want your tip breaking through, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to pour some more soil over top of the tip because I want one to two inches in the pot. So I'm measuring it where I'm going to be at because I want that soil to be at that lip. So pouring some more over that and getting that all good and covered up with the Kellogg's mix. Some really good organic uh, soil. I'll try to use all organic everything. Um, but I have a place for these. Like I said, I'm going to sit some on indoors. I'm going to sit some outdoors. Um, now, I was going to do two bulbs per pot, but my daughter suggested that that would not be good. And, of course, during my training, it says you don't want those bulbs and those roots fighting over nutrients when they have more than one in the, in the uh, pot. So one of them I did put two bulbs in, two small bulbs, because I ran out of pot room. But, yeah, for the most part, I put one big bulb. In actuality, I had some real little bitty bulbs that I got from... Home Depot, Walmart, I don't know. They were smaller bulbs for $5. It was like five bulbs for $5, and only three of them were good. So I did put them in a couple of these. So we see the progress. You'll see those as well, God willing, that they will be popping out too. So wax on, wax off, getting the soil nice and cute and patting it down. Make sure ain't no air in there. Now, this is how I did it, okay? So, please, please, all your rude comments and, and criticism, keep that to yourself. Please don't come for me because you will be rerouted. Do you hear me? I like to reroute, folks. I will reroute you. Don't be mean. Anyway, putting some more stuff on there and putting some more soil on there and patting it down, making sure the tip is covered, putting that on a little rolly thing. Now, I'm not showing y'all all 2,222, uh, there goes the little little ball right there, uh, all of the pots, but this is all the end of it. And then, yes, hunty, I brought my holes from the back door into the house, into the front of the house. And as you can see, yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. It was too heavy to be picked up to the sink, and I wanted to be walking back and forth trying to water them with something, so... Here go the uh, holes. However, it don't reach. It doesn't stretch far enough. Of course it doesn't. So I'm going to pull these babies closer. The closer I get to you. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, pull them closer to, to me so I can, to the hole, so they can get drenched. And that's what I did. I drenched them. And I plan on putting a humidifier right there. Here's the one coming up that I planted outside in the corner. 
And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy growing, you guys. Subscribe and like.